Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about something that looks simple, but it might get really complicated depending on what you need and uh, how you try to achieve that. I'm talking about 2D and 3D rotations. What is it? Uh, what is the importance of that for precise modeling in Blender? When you try to rotate something in Blender, we have this uh, easy little tool here to rotate objects. You can uh, press the R key and you will be rotating your object around. But the problem in this case is that we are making a, basically a 2D rotation. If you don't do anything else other than just hitting the R key and trying to rotate your objects. Why is this a big deal? Because depending on your needs, depending on what you need to do with your object, you might need, you might have to rotate your objects around a different axis. Uh, let me let me make a comparison with uh, another software, another tool. It will make it easier for you to understand what I'm trying to do here. So let me switch to another software. And here I have Rhino. It's a completely different software uh, than Blender, and it features two types of rotations. Uh, if you look on the sidebar of Blender, we just have a rotation. Here we have two types of rotations. Uh, the icon is uh, right here. Let me just find it. It's here. So you can see that uh, if I leave my mouse above the rotate icon, it will give me a 2D rotation and 3D rotation. If I select an object and uh, try a 2D rotation with my left mouse button and click at any point as the origin, it will ask me for a starting reference point and it will rotate anything around that point. This is a 2D rotation. Uh, what is the difference uh, for a 3D rotation? Well, with a 3D rotation, it will not ask me for a point, but an axis. I will have to click on two points to define an axis. Let me start a 3D rotation. And for instance, I can use this. Uh, I can start a 3D rotation with a right click. And if I select this endpoint, I have my snaps enabled. If I click here and here, it will ask me for a starting point and it will rotate around that axis. This is a 3D rotation. It works the same way with AutoCAD and other CAD tools. Can we do this in Blender? Yes. It might give you some work, but we can do this exactly like we can perform a 3D rotation exactly like this in Blender. Let's get back to Blender. And here we are back in Blender and let's try to do something uh, similar to what we did in uh, Rhino here in Blender. I will select my object, apply some rotations. Let's start with a rotation on the Z axis and now a completely random rotation with no constraint to either X, Y or Z. Now here comes the problem. Uh, what if I need to make a rotation using uh, the axis connecting these uh, two vertices here, this vertex and this vertex. Can we do something like that? Yes, but we'll need to make some changes here. To make things a little more fun, let me apply the rotation so you can't really use the normals uh, in this case. Uh, how can we do that? First, you have to go into edit mode and I will select both vertices. In this case, we need some points to define. It needs to be either a two vertices or an edge. It works. Uh, uh, it also works with uh, a single edge. If you select the two vertices, uh, we can uh, change the orientation here to normal. And if you see here the normal, the Y axis is connecting both vertices. The problem is if I go back to object mode, it will reset even uh, leaving this as normal. It will not reflect here on uh, the object mode. Now, here's what we can do. If I go to edit mode, keep it as normal, I can create a copy of this orientation, this transform orientation. Using this plus button, we can call this vertices. 
and this is the orientation now if i go back to object mode we have that orientation uh, we can align the 3d cursor on that on this on the middle of those two vertices by pressing shift s i mean that i back in edit mode cursor to select it and if i change my pivot point to the cursor you will see that the y-axis is aligned with those two vertices. If I press R, Y, it will rotate around this random, completely random uh, axis that we chose here using this transform orientation. So this is how you simulate 3D rotations in Blender, which is a common uh, topic or a common feature in many precise modeling environments. And Blender can do this uh, just like that. And this is how I make uh, 3D rotations in Blender. Do you know any other method? Add on, please share with us uh, in the comments. And if you like this tutorial, if you find it useful, uh, it might, if it uh, might help, if you think it might help someone else trying to do precise modeling in Blender, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. See you next time. Bye.